I had a horrible day at work today, okay? I did the unthinkable. I dropped a sorted spoon. You, you know what that means, right? Yeah, I know what that is. It's a fork. Yeah, I dropped one in front of this monster. And do you know what that son of a bitch had the nerve to order? Let me guess. The salmon. Yes. Thought so. And Delon knew the guy from a previous experience with him at the Ront? The Ront? Oh wait, I forgot. That's what you guys call the restaurant in the biz, isn't it? And he said the guy's a racist, terrible person. Left a horrible tip, so that's why he made me wait on him tonight. Well, I'm sorry your night was so shitty. Mine was fantastic. I went to Holiday Hoopla with Tish and the girls. We had a great time, especially when we left. Let me tell you, we were in no hurry. I'll tell you that much. As soon as our heels hit that pavement outside of the Ron, we started tiptoeing, basically, to my mother's van. And Mom just sat there. She didn't even have her hazards on. Didn't even have her hazards on. She just sat there parked right on the corner and there was somebody behind her and you know i'm sure they were thinking move it bitch you know were the people in the car behind you assholes well it was only one man and he didn't honk or anything so i don't know but if i had to guess yeah a major fucking asshole hopefully it was that terrible salmon guy well, from what you're telling me, I hope it was. He deserves to have to wait behind my mother's van. What a dick. Yes. Anyway, the reason I'm calling, I was wondering if you had my blue jeweled shoes. Yeah, I think they're in the back room. Why? I'm planning a trip around the Tower of Babel, a flight. Could you do me a favor and go dig them out for me? Sure. Great. I'll start looking right now. Bye. Well, at least I didn't drop one of these at work today. <laughs> Do you know how much I hate you? Do you know how much I hate you? Hmm? Who are you? You bitch. Does anybody like you? Does anybody like what you do? Does anybody like Why are you doing this to me? Shut the fuck up. Ah! <laughs>
need these anymore. Time to take a trip. That's right. Oh yes. A trip to Babel. Let's go. It's Babel. It's Babel. Is this Babel or Dante's Inferno? I'm selling jewelry. I really like this piece. Wow, that's a magnificent piece, you called it? Sugar, hurry up, I think the birds escaped. Not only the parakeets, but the eagle too. By the way, where are the ducks? Hey, there's a pheasant. I'll be in in a sec. Hold on, I'm just looking at this piece for a second. I'll run, don't worry. As I was saying, this piece is truly one of a kind. It actually comes from Egypt. A man, whose name I will not say, stole it from a site. I'm just saying, there's a long history to this beautiful piece. By the way, it's kind of drafty in here. What do you choose to wear when it gets cold? I don't know, maybe like a jacket or a coat? A mink one? Oh no, I could never afford one of those. Do you know what mink coats are worth these days? Okay, bye. What about the piece? Oh, this one? It's not for sale. I was just telling you a little bit about it. Not the full story, as you can remember, but a lot of it. Do you remember the Egypt part? Oh, sugar! On my way! What's taking you so long? What a strange woman. Are you coming? Coming, more. Are you a hot rocker? What? Not you, I'm on the phone. Dancing with your brother? My brother? Musical interlude. Why are you peeping into my place? What would you do if I told you I was selling mink coats? Would you be like, no thanks, I already have one. Or would you be like, hmm, I've never had one. I am on the phone right now. Please leave my apartment. All right, thanks anyway. I have a doggy here, you know what that means? I'm a random rights activist. Peter, Greenpeace, the whole bit. I think I have the wrong address. Listen, toots, you wanna come in and play some white ivory? If you're not here for the quiet piano lesson, I don't know what you're doing here. And be quiet on your way out. This is 31642 on our burner phone. What do you want? Terry, I've been to two apartments and so far, no make. I know it's in there. It was picked up on the thermal scan. How do you expect me to steal something that I can't find? If you don't bring that to me, I am going to kill your husband. Execution style. Please don't, Terry. I'm, I'm trying here. If you were trying, you'd be here with the mink already. Could you hold on a second? I gotta suck my tootsies. Okay, hello? You're turning me into a defeated woman. You have two hours to bring me that mink. Otherwise, your husband is dead. Now find me my mink! Who's there? Oh, hello. Are you here for quiet piano lessons? No, no. I'm actually selling jewels. Well, that's a fantastic jewel, but I'm an old woman now. I can barely afford to keep this place going. 
Everything around me is just falling apart, and I can't take it anymore. But thank God I have my mink. Without my mink, I would be dead. My husband died in this room. In this room. He died. And I had to let go of him. But there are some things that I can't hold on to. Like my mink. You must understand. There must be something you can't let go of. This piece. You see how it's ancient and worn. It's been worn by many people before you. Many generations of sad, sad people. Maybe that's why I feel so depressed when I put it on. Well, why would you put it on? Because I hate myself. There are things that just don't work in life. My daughter was a real jewel. I used to have a dog, you know, but that's beside the point. My daughter is dead. Did you ever think about that? You look so much like her. It's like I'm looking at my own daughter right now. Before you go, just do me a favor. Say, I love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. It's you! Donna, don't leave me again. <laughs> oh, Donna. I think about you all the time. I'm so lonely. This apartment complex is falling apart and ever since your dad died, I just can't take it. I just can't take it. I can't afford it. It's so good. Oh, Don, I'm going to die. It's all just so horrible. I couldn't do anything. I can't. 